Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm just bringing y'all a hair video. A lot of times I get asked how I keep my hair so soft or so healthy. Being platinum blonde and my natural hair being so dark, obviously, I get a lot of these questions because a lot of people assume that my hair is super dry or dead. And, I mean, it is dead. There's no way I can say, oh, this is alive, because it's not. But I do get a lot of questions because a lot of people are always like, can I touch your hair? And this is in real life. And I'm always like, I mean, I don't have a choice. I'm kind of just like, well, I mean, I guess you can touch me. But, um, everyone's always touching my hair and stuff, and they're always wondering why it's silky, it's always, like, straight. I mean, when I do it, when I don't, I look like a poodle, but I get a lot of questions, especially after bleaching my hair. I haven't bleached it recently, but I'm going to. So, I'm, today I'm just bringing y'all a video about how I maintain my hair healthy and how I make it manageable and how I keep myself from looking like a poodle every day because my natural hair texture is wavy and so if I don't straighten it and I go outside and it's humid, and I live in Texas so in the mornings it's super slightly humid and then in the evening it's either hot or cold, it's always weird. It's weird weather here in Texas and so if I don't straighten my hair, my hair goes from naturally wavy to like poodle from the humidity. That being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about my everyday routine, or every other day, because I only shampoo my hair every two days. That's another thing. If you're shampooing your hair every day, your hair is gonna be super dry, super unmanageable. You're gonna have no control over your hair because you're stripping the natural nutrients or the natural oils that your hair create in order to keep it healthy. That being said, if your hair gets super greasy, then I'd suggest you invest in a dry shampoo. That being said, lately the shampoo that I've been using because it just smells delicious is the Ion Color Solution cool blonde shampoo and it comes in this purple bottle and I believe you can find this at Sally's only I'm not sure if H-E-B plus sells ion but I got mine at Sally's and it's about seven bucks and this is a 12 fluid ounce bottle I still have more than half of it and it's been about a month I will say that I don't love this shampoo I definitely prefer shimmer lights over this but this is a less drastic shampoo like if you're if you only need mild toning definitely get this shampoo it does dry my hair if I leave it on more than a minute if you have blonde hair you you'll know that if you leave purple shampoo in your hair it'll tone it the longer you leave it in some people can leave shimmer lights in for like 30 minutes I will say that with this shampoo I wouldn't recommend leaving it in your hair for more than a minute just because it dries your hair so quickly and it leaves it kind of gross to be honest because sometimes I leave this in for about a minute or two or I've tried to leave it in for a minute or two and when I wash it out my hair is like really dry and it feels like hay and so I definitely if you're using a shampoo that's drying out your hair especially with purple shampoos because most of them are just so drying it's really hard hard to find a good moisturizing shampoo that doesn't compromise the toning effects of a purple shampoo. But moving on, if you are using a shampoo that's drying out your hair, definitely use a really moisturizing conditioner. My drugstore conditioner that I just go to and I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond because everybody was raving about it and y'all even recommended this to me when I had my green hair disaster and this is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Smooth 24 Hour Frizz Control in 3 minutes. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond and guys I hate the smell. I'm gonna start off and say the negative. I hate the freaking smell like I can never use this by itself because the smell is disgusting to me. I don't know. I'm used to like fruity smells and this just smells weird to me like I don't know. Normally Aussie products smell really good but this one smells like freaking hair spray like hairspray in conditioner like I don't know I don't like it but I will say that when I use this I leave it in for three minutes I normally have I normally have my iPhone playing music and I know that when a song is over I can rinse it out yes I sing in the shower and sometimes I dance too before I put this on my hair tends to be really dry from my shampoo and then after I put this on my hair is nice and silky again and so this is just a great product and I recommend it to everybody everybody raves about it and I didn't believe it until I saw it at Bed Bath & Beyond and I saw that they had a smooth version I don't know how well the moisture one works, but the smooth one works great for my hair because I straighten my hair. Only when my hair gets super long do I curl or do some sort of waves, but this just works amazingly and it keeps my hair smooth. I will say that I don't normally use it by itself. After I use this, I normally go in with another moisturizing conditioner. And again, this is another sleek smoothing conditioner. And this is a Nature's Therapy by L'Oreal Technique Mega Sleek deep conditioning cream. I believe they have two sizes of this. I believe they have a small one and I think this is a small one and then they have a double the size of this and this is the eight fluid ounce bottle. I used to use the normal Nature's Therapy which came in a beige container and then they came out with a whole range of conditioners for different types of hair and I love this conditioner so much guys. I don't even know how to describe it. When I run out of this and I'm not using this, I'm using like Suave or something, my hair is like dry, brittle, it frizzy, my ends look super split 
and if they do right now guys I swear it doesn't normally look like this I haven't washed my hair in like three days so like I need to wash it tonight but I'm just saying if you see it and you're like bitch your hair don't look nice it's three day hair, so it's never gonna look nice. That being said, this product is just amazing. I wash my hair without this. My hair is not the same as when I'm using this product. It leaves my hair so soft. This conditioner, you don't even need a lot, like a quarter size to be honest, and maybe a little bit more if you have longer hair, but that just does amazing. And you're supposed to leave this for one to two minutes and five if you want it really moisturizing. And if you were to towel dry your hair and put this in and blow dry it, like add some heat to it, it'll leave your hair even more moisturized than just using it by itself. Moving on, so the next product that I choose to use instead of the Mega Sleek Ultra Smoothing Oil is a dupe for the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, and this is generic value products from Sally's, and I believe this is like $8, but you get 6 fluid ounces, and if you were to get the 8 ounce bottle from Paul Mitchell, I think it's like $15, so it's definitely half the value, and it works just as great, and I think I've talked about this product before, and it's my monthly favorites, but I definitely recommend this product. It dries your hair faster than normal. If you're like me, I tend to let my hair towel dry, or I'll, look, I'll go to sleep with my hair wet so that when I wake up my hair is nice and moisturized. I don't like to blow dry my hair just because it damages my hair a lot more than, than I need to. This product not only helps to make my hair dry faster, it also makes my hair super smooth. Again, there have been times when I, I'm not using this product and my hair feels so brittle. It frizzes super fast. It's ridiculous. Like the amount of frizz that my hair gets when I'm not using this product. And I go through these about every two months I need to buy a new bottle and it's $10 so it's not ridiculously expensive. Honestly, even if I were just to use this product alone without using any of the other products that I'm going to show y'all, I could get away with healthy hair because this is just amazing and it just makes your hair so sleek when you're straightening it. It's ridiculous because any other product that I've tried, and I've tried a lot guys, like I have a whole freaking drawer filled, Matrix, a lot of high-end products that I've got, a TJ Maxx or I've gotten a JCPenney for full price, this product beats them all when it comes to sleeking your hair out and just making your hair straightening last. But yeah, I definitely recommend this to y'all guys. And this is the Generic Valley Product Smoothing Serum. It, it's a dupe to the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, and it says so on the bottle. Moving on, the next product that I didn't think I was going to like, because I got this for free. I think I renewed my membership at Sally's, and they were like, oh, you got a free Ion product. And I got this just because it said a, it's a leave-in treatment, and my hair was so dry that I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this out. And I did, and I didn't think I was going to like it, but I ended up buying another bottle, so must be good. Okay, it is good. And this is the Ion Color Solutions Deep Repair Leave-In Treatment. And I guess these go together because they're both part of their Color Solutions line. You only need a little bit, and I apply this to my ends, guys. I will say that this product is amazing. It is a little expensive for a leave-in treatment. It's about $8. Most of these products are $8, except for the Aussie. But this works amazing, and it leaves my hair so soft. Like, everything else covers manageability. It covers leaving your hair silk. But this product, aside from my conditioners, obviously, just just makes my hair super soft and silky like like literally makes my hair straightener leave no damage to it whatsoever it's amazing and I love it and it's a hundred percent vegan and it is paraben free so if you're into that stuff I definitely recommend this it's just an amazing product that I can't live without and I, again I didn't think I was gonna love this product but I did this is a cream and it you don't need a lot and again I just put it on my ends and when I say I put it on my ends I don't put it in my roots just because when you put product in your roots you tend to make your scalp oily and so I only put it on my roots and I'm sorry if I'm talking funny my allergies are starting to like kick in and it's really weird. The next product that I apply, right after I get out of the shower, what I tend to do is I'll towel dry my hair and spray about eight sprays of this all over my hair. And then I'll roll, I'll put my hair in a towel, put it up in like, I don't know what to call it, but I put it up in my towel and it's on top of my head. It's like a wrap and like my hair is up there for a good like 20 minutes before I go in and put these products in before combing my hair into what I want it to look like. And then I put a hat over it. But this product is just amazing. And this is the one and only argan oil and it's made out of Moroccan and argan trees and it's a spray treatment and this is supposed to give you instant shine smoothness and frizz control color protection and it doesn't have any alcohol and this is six fluid ounces and I've had this for about forever you're supposed to spray on damp hair but you can spray it on dry hair I tend to not do spray products when my hair is dry because it makes my hair frizz. I am not sure what it is. It's probably because it's so dried out because it is platinum. This product definitely gives it moisture and I will say that it does give it shine. Like this costs about $7 so it is affordable. And these are my products that I use for everything. Like I have a whole batch of products over there from Chi, from Matrix. I can't look at the Rusk. Like they're expensive products but these are the ones that I use all the time and I don't replace them for any. That being said, those are literally the only hair products that I use to maintain my hair. Uh, my hair is it's soft it's it probably looks dry but it's really soft if you were to touch it you'd be like dang like how do you do that I will say that I have wavy hair and I do have a lot of hair like 
I have to get my hair thinned out because it's so thick. And again, some of these products vary between what type of hair you have. If you have thick, wavy hair, this will probably work out with, for you. If you have fine hair, this probably won't work out with, for you because it'll make your hair extremely greasy. Because I've tried to use all these products of my friends before who have really fine hair and it's like, oh, like, it'll look good the first day and then the second day they'll look like a grease ball. Whereas for me, like, the third day, my hair is still looking like I just straightened it because I did just straighten it before this video. But yeah guys, that's really all I do and my hair is healthy, it's not falling out. I will say that when I'm outside and it's humid, like in the mornings when I'm leaving the school right after I straighten it, I do wear a hat outside so my hair doesn't, you know, get all that humidity. So if your hair is frizzy and you're having problems frizzing, probably because you're going outside without wearing a hat. And I only take my hat off once I'm inside the building that I'm going to be in until late afternoon or the afternoon when, you know, it's not humid outside, the sun's up and it's like nice and it's probably going to be hot or it's probably going to be cold, it's sexist, it's bipolar. But, but yeah guys, that's really all I do and I hope this video helped. I'm sorry I have been absent for so long. I lost my voice literally for like a week and a half and I wasn't able to talk and so I kept wanting to make a video and I wasn't able to because I literally could not talk guys. I was like, oh. And then when I did, was getting my voice back, my voice was so deep. I sounded so, like I have a deep voice as is, but like when I lost my voice, it was so like groggy and like, like they were saying I sounded like, never mind, it makes no sense because it was an audiobook, but my embroidery class, we were listening to Fisting Shades of Grey, the audiobook, and like the guy that does the voice for Christian Grey sounds so creepy and they were saying that's what I sounded like. But anyway, I'm glad I got my voice back and I'm glad I can finally do a video for y'all and I hope this video helped for y'all. And can I just take a moment to say that I have reached 1,000 followers, 1,200 by now. Now, but it's insane guys thank you so much for all your support thank you for sticking through with me thank you for subscribing to my channel and believing in me and it's insane like I love y'all so much thank you for watching I'm kind of like mind blown I mean like literally like a month ago I had 300 subscribers and like I could barely get y'all to watch one of my videos like I think like the most I would get in a day was like 50 views and now like I could upload a video and y'all like yeah so thank you so much guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'm trying to think of a hashtag to put on my videos. Like my friend was telling me to do Panda Princess, but I don't know if I like that. But I think it's cute, I think it's funny, I don't know. Yeah, so let me know what y'all think about me hashtagging myself as a Panda Princess. Um, if y'all have better ideas, let me know. I'm probably just gonna do like hashtag Degoth Panda because I'm Degoth Panda. Oh yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give this a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me personally, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, definitely let me know down below what products you're using to maintain your hair's moisture, your smoothness, what you use as humidity control, because that's important. And I'm always looking for new products for humidity control, because I live in Texas and it fucking sucks sometimes. Well, I love Texas, but the weather sucks. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. They got Panda out. Regularly gone in for checkups, and like the last time I had an eye exam was literally six years ago. And I understand that it's my fault, but apparently my cornea is hazy from not removing my contacts and I know that's my fault like I understand but I'm also a student and I barely ever sleep like I, I 